it was just a very simple idea. And when it first got going, it was really, it was really a lifestyle company, right? It was about us and our hundred friends being able to push a button and get around San Francisco like ballers. So what it is in practice, it's an on-demand car service. You, know, you get your smartphone out, you push a button, in five minutes a car arrives, takes you wherever you want to go. Um, at this point, we're now in nine cities around the world, two of them outside the United States, Toronto and Paris. We're going to be hitting Europe pretty hard in the next several months. Um, and Asia is going to really get going in the second part of this year. But very quickly, it became clear that that this business was taking off, that it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a limo company, but actually a technology company. And I had just had enough recharging time from my last business. So go to a board meeting. We were there to confirm that uh, I was coming on as CEO full time. Um, you know, going from sort of co-founder and incubator status to full time CEO, that's kind of a big day. And during that board meeting, we were served with cease and desist by the city of San Francisco and the state of California. Essentially, they, they had a, a, you know, it came down to a couple different issues, one of which is um, uh, they wanted to take the name, uh, our name is Uber, or started out as Uber Cab, and they thought that that was marketing ourselves as a taxi company, so we became Uber. Um, but also, there's a, there was an industry that was very concerned and, and basically upset that we existed. And I think they just put in a call and said, shut these guys down. Now, for me, I've done a lot of disruptive businesses before, um, you know, a lot of tech that's sort of disrupted certain industries. I've been sued before. And in fact, I had a suit two companies ago that was a quarter of a trillion dollars by 33 of the largest media companies in the world. So when we got this cease and desist on this day where I was, you know, basically coming in as CEO formally, um, it was actually kind of like a homecoming. It was like, it actually got me, it, for me, it was like it, my happy place. It's like, it was meant to be. And um, we're still operating in San Francisco and we haven't changed our business. And I think that the lesson we learned from that and that we've seen in a couple other cities, actually one other city since then, um, is that, you know, it, it, it's just the principle that if you're legal and you're allowed to operate a business, which we are, that we don't have to cower to regulators or to you know incumbents who don't want us to exist. But at the end of the day, we're making cities better. And there's a principle to standing up for, I guess, free enterprise and, um, and, and building a business.